that bun from a side down. I think we're now in what's called the New Forest in the UK. We've just gone over the cattle grid, which I think is what signifies our century unit. lots of wild ponies and stuff like that wild ponies and free-range cows all that sort of thing wandering around so you've got to keep your head on a swivel um, and just uh, be mindful of the fact that there's animals all over the place this is proper pucker this is proper pucker indeed ah, just what I needed this is just what I needed See, when the roads are like this, you don't need to be going fast to be having a good time. <laughs> so the 40 mile an hour limit on here is, at times, uh, you'll be lucky to do 40. And we got some sheepsies, some sheepsicles. Hello, sheep. Oh, hello. Look at you with your little furry coat. And ponios. Awesome. All hiding from the sun a little bit, or trying to. <laughs> Hello, horses. Hello there. Hello. Oh, you poor little thing covered in flies, aren't you? Poor little thing covered in flies. Well, we're just about there now. Uh, I think we've got about six six minutes to go or something like that. Um, yeah. And if this is where we're going to be camping, it's going to be amazing. I think Pez has been to this campsite before. I'm not sure about Phil. Or if not. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to be a nice one. Because you wouldn't go back there again if... Uh, you didn't think it was, would you? So, Pez knows best. <laughs> Although it's taken us a good few hours to get down here, it's so nice to have all this so comparatively close to home. And had I uh, been able to go a little bit at my own pace, as opposed to um, a CT110 pace, um, yeah, I could have got here in a, about two and a half hours, I guess, from home did hint at me taking the van down and sticking the CB100 in the in the bus um, but I think he only wanted me to do that so I'd bring my cool boxes <laughs> don't know if the camera can pick that out but bird of prey up there must look where I'm going not at the birds in the sky directly above me <laughs> it definitely feels like we're getting close to the coast now that's for sure I don't know what it is that makes that feel like that but I wonder if it's just me, but do you know what I mean? When you, I can feel like I'm close to the coast. Um, you can sort of sense it. And I've no idea why. I've no idea why. But it feels like we're close to the coast. And uh, I mean, having looked at the map when I was looking at where we were going, I know we are quite close to the coast. So maybe I'm just feeling like we're close because we're near where we're destination is. I don't know. But I've always been able to feel like we were close to the coast when travelling and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know whether that's a weird thing or whether that's something other people can tell as well. Maybe I'm just a little bit mad. The trouble with campsites Caravans! <laughs> we're literally just round the corner from it um, and yeah, yeah, obviously we had to get stuck behind a, a caravan on the way there um, which is a shame because it does ruin the view a little bit but we're all out to enjoy ourselves as are they but It looks like we are here Here, here is where we are Hurst View Caravan and Camping Park Nice 
Right, let's go find the reception. And we are here. Here with a capital here. Here. Hello, hello, Angus. Ugh. You all right? So this is Angus, aka Curious Goose, on his Sinis Terrain 125, which is a very awesome little adventure bike. You know what, mate? Vroom vroom! <laughs> Alright, well the tents are all up now, and uh, we're just going off to the supermarket so we can get some beers and some burgers and barbecues and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, Chris Wallace has turned up now, um, although he's still sorting his stuff out. Him and Phil will stand behind at the campsite while me, Pez and Curious Goose off to the supermarket. It is so lovely down here. Hey, no, you gotta keep that by. Ramasan down.